How now? What news? Letters, my lord, from Hamlet. These to your majesty, this to your queen. Laertes, you shall hear them. Leave us. High and mighty, you shall know I am sent naked on your kingdom. Tomorrow shall I beg leave to see your kingly eyes. When I shall, first asking your pardon thereunto, recount the occasion of my sudden and more strange return. Hamlet. What hour of this, my lord? Laertes, was your father dear to you? Or are you like the painting of a sorrow, a face without a heart? Why ask you this? Not that I think you did not love your father, but that I know love is begun by time. And that I see in passages of proof, time qualifies the spark and fire of it. There lives within the very flame of love a kind of wick or snuff that will abate it. And nothing is at a like goodness still, for goodness, growing to our pleurisy, dies in his own too much. That we would do. We should do what we would, for this wood changes and hath abatements and delays as many as there are tongues, our hands, our accidents, and this should is like a spendthrift side that hurts by easing. But to the quick, oh, the ulcer, Hamlet comes back. What would you undertake to show yourself your father's son indeed more than in words? To cut his throat in the church! A place indeed should murder sanctuarize, revenge should have no bounds. But good Laertes, will you do this? Keep close within your chamber. Hamlet return shall know you are come home. We'll put on those shall praise your excellence and set a double varnish on the fame the Frenchman gave you. Bring you and fight together and wager on your heads. He, being remiss, most generous and free from all contriving, will not peruse the foils, so that with ease or with a little shuffling, you may choose a sword unbated and in a passive practice requite him for your father. I'll do it, and for that purpose I'll anoint my sword. I bought an unction of a mountain bank, so mortal that but dip a knife in it. Where it draws blood, no cataplasm so rare. Collected from all symbols that have virtue under the moon. Can save the thing from death that is but scratched with all. I'll touch my point with this contagion that if I call him slightly, it may be death. Let's further think of this. Wait what convenience both of time and means may fit us to our shape. If this should fail, and that our drift look through our bad performance, twere better not a sade. Therefore, this project should have a back or second. That might hold if this should blast in proof. Soft! Let me see. We'll make a solemn wager on your cunnings. I have it. When in your motion you are hot and dry, as your bouts more violent to that end, and that he calls for a drink. I'll have prepared him a chalice for the nonce, whereon but sipping, if he by chance escape your venom stuck, our purpose may hold there. But say, what noise? Oh, a woe doth tread upon another's heel, so fast they follow. You, your sister's drowned, Laertes. Drowned? Oh, where? I dream to dream in time gone Life worth living. I dream that love. There is a well, girls, a scant of brook that shows his oar leaves in the glassy stream. There, there with fantastic garlands did she make of crow flowers, nestles, daisies, and long purples that liberal shepherds give across her name. But our cold maids do dead men's fingers call them. There, on the pendant bows, her cornet weeds clambering to hang. An envious sliver broke, when down her weedy trophies and her song fell in the weeping brook. Her, her clothes spread wide and mermaid like, while they bore her up, which time she chanted snatches of old thoughts as incapable of her own distress. Or like a creature, native and endued, upon that element, but long it could not be till that her garments, heavy with their drink, pulled the poor wretch from her melodious lay to her mighty death. Alas, then she is drowned? Drowned, drowned. Too much of water hast thou, poor Ophelia, and therefore I forbid my tears. But yet it is her trick. Nature her custom holds. Let shame say what it will. When these are gone, the women will be out. Adieu, my lord. I have a speech of fire that fain would blaze. 
but that this folly drowns it. Let's follow, Gertrude. How much I had to do to calm his rage! Now fear I this will give it start again. Therefore, let's follow. 